Hey everyone, we are going to do a quick review of our volume formula. So let's start with volume of spheres. Remember that formula is V equals BH, where B is the area of the base. So V obviously stands for volume. B is area of the base. And since our bases are cylinders, or sorry, they're circles in cylinders, that means that we are going to use pi r squared to find the area of the base. And then the height connects our bases. So here would be the height of the cylinders connecting those bases that I shaded in. All right, so let's go ahead and find the volume of this first cylinder. I'm going to shade my bases. Notice they gave us the diameter. And then I'm gonna circle the height. So they gave us the diameter of five. I'm going to divide five by two to find the radius, and that means the radius is 2.5. Now I have everything I need for V equals BH to find the volume. I will use pi r squared to find B. So I'm gonna do 3.14 times my radius of 2.5 squared and 3.14 times 2.5 squared is 19.625. And then my height is 0 0.75. So I have everything I need. I found area of the base. It is 19.625 and my height is 0 0.75. So now I'm gonna substitute in. I'm going to do 19.625 times 0.75. And 19.625 times 0.75 is 14.72 centimeters cubed. All right, let's look at the second cylinder. This time we are going to leave our answer in terms of pi. So that just means we leave the pi symbol in. So here are my bases. They gave me the radius this time. And there's my height of 22. So I'm going to substitute into V equals BH. B is pi r squared. So it'll be pi times the radius of 6 squared. Since I'm doing it in terms of pi, all I'm doing right now is 6 squared. And 6 squared is 36. So Area of the base equals 36. And then my height, I circled it, it's 22. And sorry, the area of the base is 36 pi, not just 36. Okay, now I multiply these two things to find the volume. So I do 36 pi times 22. And now I'm just gonna multiply 36 and 22, and then I'll leave my pi symbol at the end. And 36 times 22 is 792 pi, since it's in terms of pi, centimeters cubed. Okay, now let's look at volume of a cone. It is really similar to the volume of a cylinder formula, except I have the one third. V is the volume, B is area of the base, which is still a circle, so it's pi r squared. And then height connects the base to the top. So these would be my circular bases. And then the height is from the base to the top. I guess I should say to the tip because it might not necessarily be the top like this one. Okay, so it's pretty much the same as a cylinder. We just have the one third. So here is my base, circular base on this cone, and my height is 19. Notice they gave us the diameter is 21, so to find the radius, I will do 21 divided by 2. And 21 divided by 2 is 10.5. All right, now we are ready to find our volume by doing 1 third B H. So B is pi r squared. So I'm going to do 3.14 times the radius of 10.5 squared. 
and 3.14 times 10.5 squared is 346.19. And then height, I circled it, it is 19. So now I'm gonna substitute into the formula. I will do 1 third times the base of 346.19 times the height of 19. So 346.19, forgot the 1 third. 1 third times 346.19 times 19 is 2192.54 and it was centimeters cubed okay number four we're going to find the volume of the cone but leave our answer in terms of pi so we just won't multiply in the pi so there's my circular base they gave us the radius is three and the height is nine. So I have everything I need. I'm ready to plug into one third BH. So to find B, I'll do pi r squared. I'm gonna leave it as pi this time since it's in terms of pi and my radius is three and I'm gonna square it. And all I'm gonna do, all I'm gonna calculate is three squared, which is nine. So the area of the base is nine pi. And then the height is nine. So to find the volume, I'm gonna do one third times area of the base, which is nine pi, times the height, which was nine. So now I just multiply the numbers, one third times nine times nine. And that gets me 27 pi centimeters cubed. Okay, volume of spheres. Remember for sphere, all you need is the radius. You have to be careful of a couple of things, the four thirds and the cubed. So just make sure you're paying close attention to the formula. On this first one, we're gonna find the volume of the sphere and round to the nearest hundredths. So it'll be V equals 4 thirds pi R cubed. There's the radius right there. I just have to substitute it in. So it'll be 4 thirds times 3.14 times the radius of 12.75 cubed. So 4 thirds times 3.14 times 12.75 to the third is 8,000. 677.59 feet cubed. All right, and then last one, we are going to leave it in terms of pi, so we will multiply everything except for the pi symbol. They gave me the diameter is 35. I need the radius, so I'm gonna do 35 divided by two, and 35 divided by two is 17.5. Okay, now I have everything I need to find the volume of the sphere in terms of pi. I'm gonna do 4 thirds pi times the radius of 17.5 to the third. And now I'm just gonna multiply the numbers since we're doing it in terms of pi and I'll put a pi symbol at the end. So 4 thirds times 17.5 to the third power is 7,145.83 pi millimeters cubed. 